What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mello. I just want to say I thank all of y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'm so happy for all the new people that has came and joined me when it comes to this journey and the people who have already been following me and supporting me, you know, coming along for the ride. I just, I appreciate everybody. I love that I got to experience this series with you all. And now I cannot wait to start another series with all of you. Uh, the next series I'm probably going to do is the Scream movies, you know, to prepare for Scream 5. But what is your house? What is your Patronus? Also, so get another question. What Harry Potter character do you relate to the most? This is not who is your favorite character. This is just who do you relate to the most? What character do you see yourself in? Go ahead and like this video, share, comment down below your thoughts and subscribe and click the bell so you know when I upload more videos. Now let's get into this movie reactions. How Slytherin bitch. <laughs> Oh my God, that dude looked hideous. Looked like he was trying to turn into a werewolf, but then just said, fuck it, I give up. <laughs> Have a night nice ago, I could have sworn I saw a picture of me. Really? <laughs> Thought I was going around a twig. Oh boy, Harry shot. I was wondering. 11, that's when I get off. You can tell me all about that toss of Harry Potter. Hell yeah, Harry, you better holler at that girl. Let's with that game. That girl fine as hell, man. <laughs> Yeah, check that breath. Smell them armpits. Dumbledore, why you gotta be a cock block, bro? You see I'm about to talk to a girl. Why are you here? That could have been Harry's first time getting some. Smelling beer. I come by the stuffing naturally. What gave me away? Dragon's blood. The muggles who own this place are in the Canary Islands. Well, I think we should put it back in order for them, don't you? Yes. <laughs> Shiona, this is magic, man. Wow. Yeah, that boy's like, get off of me, man. I'm trying to get back on the damn thing. Don't think I don't know why you're here, Albus. The answer's still no. You recognize Barnabas Cuff. Oh, wow, he knew his mom. Always takes Grinog Jones, captain of the Hollyhead Harpies. Free tickets whenever I want them. Horace. You mind if I take this? Was that a booty magazine? Of course, but you're not leaving, are you? Oh, I think I, I know a lost cause when I see one. Well, bye-bye, Horace. Yeah, use that reverse psychology on him. All right, I'll do it. And I expect a raise. That's like one of my favorite things to see, just these moving pictures. Hedwig. Ginny, what is it? I was only wondering when Harry got here. Did someone say Harry? Me, Nosy. Is he up there with you? I think I'll know if my best friend was in my room, wouldn't I? Is that an owl I heard? You haven't seen him, have you? <laughs> <laughs> I like that shot, man. That's pretty cool right there. <laughs> hey, Miss Weasley. Why didn't you let us know you were coming? Oh, you know, I wanted to surprise you, Miss Weasley. You know, sorry I couldn't bring you no flowers. Got Biff. Toothpaste. <laughs> what y'all been doing? Mum sort of lost it last week. Said Ginny and I had no business going back to Hogwarts. It's too dangerous. Even my parents, they're muggles, know something bad's happening. So if Hermione's parents are muggles, how is she able to do magic? I think they might have acknowledged this in the earlier movies, but I just, I, I probably forgot. As it so happens, I'm aware of your situation, Narcissa. The Dark Lord told you. Understandable. Over the years, I've played my part well, so well, I've deceived one of the greatest wizards of all time. Dumbledore is a great wizard. Damn, you double-crossing him? Wow. I can't change the Dark Lord's mind, but it might be possible for me to help Draco. Make the unbreakable foe. It's just empty words. Yo, Bellatrix is the first girl I ever seen with fucked up teeth that, hey, she can get it if she wanted. <laughs> will you, Severus Snake, watch over Draco Malfoy? I will. I mean, he's been doing that already. And if Draco should fail, will you yourself carry out the deed the Dark Lord has ordered Draco to perform? I will. 
so what if draco fails would you you're gonna kill him or or what and i mean yeah draco is a good wizard but why would you choose him everyone got that once from olivander's Yes, I knew this was the place that blew up. I guess they targeted this place so there won't be any more new wizards. Is it me or do Draco and Mummy look like two people who don't want to be followed? Yeah, they made that look real suspicious. <laughs> Damn, all right, weirdo. You need to get off them drugs, bro. Boy on that wizard crack. Yeah, I can already tell this movie right here is completely dark. This is the darkest one yet. By the certain themes that they've hit so far and just by the color grading and stuff. But like I said in another video, you know, it's cool that the movies have been getting darker and darker as they've been getting older, because that's pretty much like real life. I don't even know why y'all being nosy in the first place. Oh, look He's at that. lovely. Been known to sing on Boxing Day, you know? What's a rock spot? They're invisible creatures. They float in your ears and make your brain go fuzzy. Damn. Shoot, Luna over there looking good. Looking like a fashion designer. Okay, girl, I see you. So what was Draco doing with that weird looking cabinet? I know where you're going with this. It's happened. He's one of them. One of what? Harry is under the impression Draco Malfoy is now a Death Eater. It's a creepy shot. He's a creepy bloke. Look. His father is a Death Eater. It only makes sense. See, I really like the lighting right there and then the color grading right there was also pretty good. And just the simple directing and how it was shot was well done. What's that? What's that? Hogwarts. What a pathetic excuse for a school. Everything the Malfoy is a pathetic excuse for something. The dude just think he above everything, man. Didn't mummy ever tell you it was rude to eavesdrop, Potter? Put your fist on Carlos! Dang, he knew it was him? I wouldn't even have thought anything of it. <clears throat> Damn! That's for my father. What are you talking about? He ain't do nothing. Wow, he really broke his nose, man. Yo, this boy Malfoy different, man. I guess being exposed to Voldemort changed him a lot. Yo, them some fabulous glasses right there. Anike. Hello, Harry. Luna, how do you know where I was? Raxperts. <laughs> Yo, if I was Harry, I would have ran up on Draco right then and there. Nice face, Potter. I don't know why y'all won't do a repair -o spell or something. I forget how you pronounce it. Like, fix his nose? Would you like me to fix it for you? About time, yes. Personally, I think you look a bit more devil may care this way, but... I don't know why it took you this long. You should have did it as soon as you <laughs> found me. Uh, how do I look? Exceptionally ordinary. Brilliant. <laughs> is, is that a compliment? I don't know. I think she just called him basic as fuck. Man, Hogwarts always got some good food, man. Mr. Davis, that is the girls' lavatory. <laughs> Potter. Enjoying ourselves, are we? I had a free period this morning. I would think you would want to fill it with potions. Or is it no longer your ambition to become an aura? Girl, this ain't no job. I'm at school. Selkhorn is perfectly happy to accept new students. Brilliant. Um, well, I'll head there straight away. Oh, good, good. Take Weasley with you. He looks far too happy over there. <laughs> Why can't we just be chilling, man? <laughs> get your books out. Uh, sorry, sir. I haven't actually got my book yet. And all's wrong. Not to worry. Get what you want from the cupboard. It's a truth-telling serum. And that one... <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing this? Oh, that's that was the new book? <laughs> Okay, yeah, they best friends, man. I didn't know why they were doing that. Yeah, I would have been doing the same thing. Now, Amortentia doesn't create actual love. That would be impossible. But it does cause a powerful infatuation or obsession. And for that reason, it is probably the most dangerous potion. Man, she over here rolling her eyes and stuff. Man, she been through something. She, she experienced. That's crazy. She's wearing a pink ribbon. I've never seen anybody wear anything extra while wearing their uniform. That's interesting. I didn't even know you was allowed to do something like that. Oh. 
Crush it, don't cut it. Oh, well, thank you, Half Blood Prince. Oh, uh, there we go. I was wondering when he was gonna blow himself up again. It's been a minute. Rutledge beard. Perfect. Hey, Hermione, why didn't you copy me? I told you what to do. Of Felix Felicis. <laughs> they all sweating and everything, man. People, some haters. Oh, there go another call back. Dang, you still got that book? I thought Harry took that book. Sir? Well, I notice you spend a great deal of time with Miss Granger. I can't help wondering if... Oh, no, no. I mean, she's brilliant and we're friends, but no. Forgive me. I mean, yeah, they are coming at that age, so, you know, nothing wrong with asking that question. Dude, but this boy, Dumbledore, was asking, hey, bro, you sexually active with uh, Hermione Granger, bro? <laughs> Oh my goodness, bro. Look at this editing right here. This, these effects right here are well put together. In all the years Tom's been here, he's never once had a family visitor. You're a doctor, aren't you? No. Man, you can tell this kid gonna be a serial killer. You can do things, can't you, Tom? Things other children can't. I can make animals do what I want without training them. I can make bad things happen to people if I want. I'm different. Prove it. I think there's something in your wardrobe trying to get out, Tom. Man, he doing all this with the door open, man? So this man, Dumbledore, is like Professor X mixed with Gandalf. <laughs> I can speak to snakes, too. Is that normal for someone like me? Wow, towards the end of that, you saw his face change. I can say already, I'm not gonna say I didn't like the directing in the last movie from David Yates. It, it, it left something to be desired, but I will say he's doing a way better job with this one than he did in the last one. And I'm just really like the different color gradings they are showing in between different scenes, man. This stuff is crazy. See, like stuff like this, he's like slow panning or tilts, whatever you want to call it. That stuff is cool. But why is this man, Draco, wearing a damn suit? Okay, so this morning I'm going to be putting you all through a few drills just to assess your strengths. So that boy Harry, the captain now. Thanks. Like, who acts like that in a freaking tryout, no, remember, man? Just because you made the team last year does not guarantee you a spot this year. Is that clear? Good. Wow, they really disrespecting Harry Potter, man? Strapping guy like you, you've got more of a beater's build, don't you think? Keepers need to be quick, agile. I like my chances. Think you could introduce me to your friend Granger? Why don't you introduce yourself? You the one who acting like a damn douchebag, like you got all the confidence in the world. That makes no damn sense. How you gonna act like that, but then ask somebody else to introduce you? You can already tell that dude got a little penis. That's why he got that big ass broom. It's cool that they bringing Quidditch back into the movies. <laughs> Yo, this girl Hermione is powerful. She didn't use her wand or nothing. She just whispered and had the powers come. I have to admit, I thought I was gonna miss that last one. I mean, he wasn't really it's doing no moving or anything. I'll say the people who was trying to shoot the ball or whatever, they was trash. Have you ever heard of this spell? Sectum Sempra. No, I haven't. And if you had a shred of self-respect, you'd hand that book in. He's top of the class. He's even better than you, Hermione. Slughorn thinks he's a genius. <laughs> I think that's why she wanted him to turn the book in. She hating. She likes, he know damn well Harry would not be better than me in class. He only better than me because of that book. <gasps> this book is property of the Half-Blood Prince. Jenny, you need to mind your damn business. See, you wasn't even in the conversation. Why are you taking my book? For weeks, you carry around this book. Practically sleep with it. Well, it's true. I like a nice chap before I go to bed. Now you do is read that bloody book. That boy acting like the book is the one ring. Like, damn, Harry, chill out. Dumbledore's asked me to get to know him. It must be important. Shoot, I appreciate that Harry was being honest with him because other God, times Harry would, wouldn't share with him. <laughs> damn, Hermione is just a little foam on the lips. Like, you acting like that was an embarrassing moment. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Oh 
What is this doing in the Harry Potter movie, bro? This looks like something in a horror movie. That was some demonic ass stuff right there. And then she's twitching. She left to go to the loo, and when she came back, she had the package. She said it was important that she deliver it. Did she say to whom? To Professor Dumbledore. Why is it when something happens, it is always you three? Because <laughs> they the main characters. So they was going to try to give that necklace to Dumbledore and hoping that he was going to touch it or something. So they think Dumbledore is a just absolute idiot. I feel like Dumbledore would have felt that something was wrong with that necklace and he wouldn't have touched it. Or maybe something else was going to happen with that necklace once it got close to his presence. I don't know. For those of you who don't know, Marcus's uncle invented the Wolfsbane potion. Is he working on anything new? I don't know. He made that time get on. Focus my dad's potions are rubbish. Yeah, Lee, calm down, bro. Just they ain't talk and then eat. My parents are dentists. They attend to people's teeth. Fascinating. <laughs> Y'all don't know what a dentist is? Come on, man. I wonder who taught this man manners like that. Bye bye. <laughs> this dude a little too grown. I understand what what age are they? They like 15, 16 right now. This dude looking at her like he trying to get it in. Potter. I'm sorry, sir. I was just admiring your hourglass. Oh yes. Yeah, that is a nice it's hourglass. Object. Oh, that is green. Is stimulating the I love green. Slowly. Look like something from Ninja Turtles or whatever. No, and it looked like a there. snake. So you already know what that no, is. No, How slender, bitch! Boy. I'm resigning. Nick. After today's match, McLaggen can have my spot. Have it your way. Please. Hello, everyone. You look dreadful, Ron. Is that why you put something in his coat? <laughs> Luna, what are you wearing? Are you the mascot? God damn, Luna. Don't drink it, Ron. I, uh, I mean, is that kind of like steroids in the wizard world? You could be expelled for that. I don't know what you're talking about. Come on, Harry. We've got a game to win. Damn, Harry a cheater? <laughs> Come on, Slytherin. What they ass? This boy Harry cheating, man. <laughs> oh, my goodness. The way that this is directed right here off the back is nice. Shit, man, y'all cheating, bro. This is ridiculous, man. I would expect this from Slytherin, because, yeah, I, I would do this. But from Gryffindor and from Harry Potter, no less, they cheated freaking Slytherin again. I suppose I could have just used the Confundus charm. That was different. That was tryouts. This was an actual game. Didn't put it in. Oh. I only thought you did. Oh, okay, Harry. All right, I was about to say, bro. I'm about to be pissed off. <laughs> okay, bro. All right, I take back everything I just said, man. Y'all not even together, man. And y'all both like each other, but y'all just shy to say something to each other. Well, why are you crying? How does it feel, Harry, when you see Dean with Ginny? I see the way you look at her. You're my best friend. <laughs> oh, that boy Ron's about to get it in? A pugno. I mean, you gotta think it about like it this. from a teenager's point of view, man. You know, cause I, I've already been through all this, so that's why I'm saying the stuff that I'm saying and thinking the way that I'm thinking. But if I was to go back in time and go back to when I was in high school, yeah, it hurt. When you see the girl that you crushing on and stuff and she hugged up on another dude, you like, damn, man, I wish it was me. But I wouldn't say I'll be crying though, but you know, Hermione is a very emotional person. I can't help it, she's got niggas in a twist. Now Ryan acting like he big shit. Wow. It's chemical. Would it last? Who knows? Point is, I'm a free agent. No, but he's kissing whatever he likes. I really couldn't care less. <laughs> That's for Milda Vane. Apparently she's trying to smuggle you a love potion. Really? Oh, for real? She, she ain't even got a try. Hey, she's she interested see? in you because she thinks you're the chosen one. But I am the so? chosen one. Exactly. Okay, she's sorry. fine. Um... <laughs> this is so cool, bro. Oh, man. Dang, Luna got like some Lady Gaga fashion. Oh, I think that's a good choice to go with somebody. Cousin. Yeah, I would go with Luna. He's not all awake. I sleepwalk, you see. That's why I wear shoes to bed. This boy Ron, he's starting to get a little bit arrogant and cocky. He need to get his ass whooped, man. I don't like when people get arrogant and cocky. Don't be acting like that just because of one game and because you got a girl all up on you and she probably gave you a little head. Chill out, bro. <laughs> I'll knock your ass out. Slap you in the back of the head. Oh, my God. 
So they really just gonna allow kids to come in this room? Look at you. I swore to protect you. I was chosen for this. Damn, they loud, man. So I guess this whole thing is really getting to Draco. Girl, why don't you just come in here? Why are you being so extra? Then just come in here and talk to him. Damn, man, I feel bad Die. for Hermione. Oh, oh man, that is cool right there. For a mission. Perhaps Harry's right, Remus. I mean, to make an unbreakable vow. It comes it? down to whether or not you. Oh, they get Remus back in here and they get her fine ass back in here too. Open up, you. Ooh, shit! Oh! oh my God, Ron! If your dad is gonna not cock block me, why are you gonna cock block? Me? The object that Draco is so interested in is a vanishing cabinet. They were all the rage when Voldemort first rose to power. Could transport you practically anywhere. Tricky contraptions, though. Well, then that's dangerous because we got one in Hogwarts, so that's a way that they can get into Hogwarts. The first night of the cycle is always the worst. Remus. Sweetheart. Oh, dang, that's Remus, girl? Damn. If that's Remus, girl, then why was she checking out Harry in the last movie? Merry Christmas, Harry. Merry Christmas. Hey, this is just coming out of nowhere. Why are y'all coming at, at us? Harry, no! Oh, he's still mad that she killed Sirius. One of the things that some people tell me in the comments is she's actually Sirius Black's cousin. Like, damn, you really gonna kill your cousin? But you know, you be having brothers be killing brothers and sons be killing their parents and stuff. You know, this world is messed up. Hey, what's up, Dollar Tree Sabretooth? In the fight! Oh, this is terrifying right here, man. Just the, the way this whole thing is directed, man. There'll be sometimes throughout these Harry Potter movies over the last couple of movies, they be shooting this stuff like it's a horror movie. Hey! Oh my God, man. This scene right here is intense. And it's well shot. Dang, that was just a distraction. So you telling me nobody ain't got no magic that can get rid of fire? Get to you. Sir, is it true that Professor Mary Thought is retiring? I couldn't tell you if I knew, could I? By the way, thank you for the pineapple. You're quite right, it is my favorite. But how did you know? Intuition. As soon as somebody would have told me intuition, I'd be like, ah, oh, you, you stalking me. Okay. I ain't gonna believe that. The other professors, they're not like you. They might misunderstand. I was in the library the other night in the restricted section. I read something rather odd about a bit of rare magic. It's called... Oh, oh. I don't know anything about such things. Now get out of here at once, and don't let me ever get you mentioning it again! This memory has been tampered with by the same person whose memory it is. He probably didn't want us to know uh, the name of the magic. Well, sir, I wondered if I might ask you something. Ask away, dear boy, ask away. Well, you see, the other day I was in the library in the restricted section and I came across something rather odd about a very rare piece of magic. Man, he's saying it verbatim. There can be no light without the dark, so it is with magic. Myself, I always strive to live within the light. I suggest you do the same. Is that what you told Tom Riddle, sir, when he came asking questions? Dumbledore put you up to this, didn't he? Golly, Harry. You couldn't be more secretive about it? You just gonna let him know? I can't stop thinking of that, Harry. Honestly, you know, I reckon she was starting to annoy you. She could never annoy me. I think I love her. <laughs> I appreciate that. Can you get your ass off my pillow? Who are you talking about? Milda, of course. Milda Vane. Okay, very funny. Ah, what's that for? It's no joke. I'm in love with her. All right, fine. You're in love with her. Have you ever actually met her? Can you introduce me? You the one in love, introduce yourself. I know this is probably gonna have a lot of people be like, what? But to me, I feel like this is the first movie where Rupert Grint is actually doing a good job, man. I'm not saying that his acting was bad, but I'm saying he's he's doing a good job right here in this movie. I guess it's because he has a lot more to do. Usually he don't really be doing nothing, except just saying little quips here and there. I'd have thought you could whip up a remedy for this in no time, Harry. Oh, I, I thought this called for more practiced hands, sir. Hello, darling. Perhaps you're right. <laughs> what happened to me? 
love potion. A bloody strong one at that. To life! Oh, damn, bro. What the hell? This dude's having like some type of side effect or something, I guess. Damn, that must have been a really strong ass love potion. She wanted that boy to stay in love with her. And if he can't love her, then that boy got to die. He couldn't have nobody. <coughs> That's crazy. You can't even mess with that girl now. That girl crazy as fuck. <laughs> she was really about to kill Harry Potter. These girls, they're gonna kill me. Man, them girls ain't worried about you, bruh. You the one who ate my damn candy. She just trying to put me love potion. I don't remember who gave you this bottle. By the way, it possesses remarkably subtle hints of licorice and cherry. We're not polluted with poison. I intended oh. to give it as a gift myself. To whom, I might ask? To you, Headmaster. Dang, they trying to kill Dumbledore, so it was poison in there. Okay. What's she doing here? I might ask you the same question. I happen to be his girlfriend. I happen to be his friend. Are we really having this uh, in front of the teachers? See, don't worry, one one. I'm here. Oh my name. <laughs> oh, to be young and to feel love's keen sting. Exactly. Yeah, that's, that's school love right there, man. Well, that's cool that we had a storyline like this. <laughs> I related to this movie more than any of the other films, man. It's crazy. It's like every story is just getting better and better to me. I really wish it was Harry and Hermione that was together, but you know, it's, it's cool. That would have been a little bit too obvious or whatever. Or I guess cliche, whatever you want to call it. Ah, right, leave Malfoy. Obviously, you can't handle this whole task and everything that the Dark Lord or Tom Riddle. Ah, right, leave. The Tom Riddle is asking of you. I know what you did, Malfoy. Oh, don't be trying to act all big shit. You was just crying and stuff. Oh my God, man, there's some good directing in this movie and this movie is just so tense. Oh damn, Harry, what did you do? Man, what type of spell is that? Oh, that was a great shot right there. Wow, that boy Harry almost killed somebody. Yeah, I know that's aching at him. I know Harry is not no killer. Have to get rid of it. The spell that you did, you get from Take that book. My hand. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be a jump scare or something, man, but I still like flinched. All right, close your eyes. That way you can't be tempted. Close your eyes. Dang, they not even breaking eye contact with each other. You, that's how you know they really like each other. Oh, you already know Daniel don't know how to kiss. Still no luck with Slughorn then, I take it. That's it. All I need is a bit of luck. You really gonna waste it on that? Wow, that camera movement was fire. We have a plan. I know, but I've got a really good feeling about Hagrid's. I feel it's it's the place to be tonight. Do you know what I mean? No, because no, we but didn't trust me. I know what I'm doing. Oh, they go another call back. The greenhouse. Merlin's <gasps> beard, Harry. Uh, sorry, sir. I should have announced myself. Clear my throat. Coughed. Harry. Sir, it's nearly nightfall. <laughs> What are you talking about? It's daytime. This boy Harry over here acting like he drunk out of his mind. <laughs> boy, sir. <laughs> Merlin's beard? Is that an actual acromantula? Acorantula? Oh, oh, that's a cool name, man. Yeah. Seriously misunderstood creatures spiders are. The eyes, I reckon, they unnerve some folk. Not to mention the pincers. I mean, and the eight legs. I will say that whole model looks gross. Prime. Was that the spider from the second movie? That spider looked bigger than that. You had a family, I trust? Oh, yeah. Oh, so that is the spider from the second movie. Okay, yeah. Farewell. Aragog. King of the Arachnids. <laughs> but your spirit lingers on, and your human friend finds solace in the last they have to stay. Oh, there's some beautiful music playing right there. Go along and then suddenly, poof, 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 poof. Y'all are freaking fucked up. 
On spring afternoon, I discovered a bowl on my desk. Floating on the surface was a flower petal. As I watched, it sank. It's transformed to a wee fish. That is amazing. It's beautiful magic. Yes, it is. Wondrous to behold. The flower petal had come from a lily. Your mother, the day the bowl was empty, was the day your mother. Dang, man, this is depressing. <laughs> that means that she really cared about you and you cared about her. Y'all was good friends. Unlike anything else, for somebody to give you a piece of themselves. I am the chosen one. Only I can destroy him, but in order to do so, I need to know what Tom Riddle asked you all those years ago in your office, and I need to know what you told him. Be brave like my mother. How does these people know that he's the chosen one when they destroyed the prophecy? Ooh, I guess that luck potion really worked because he happened to walk into this professor trying to go to Hagrid's. That's luck right there. And they had them a good time. I read something rather odd about a bit of rare magic. It's called a Horcrux. A Horcrux is an object in which a person has concealed part of their soul. In other words, you cannot die. And how does one stretch his soul, sir? Killing rips the soul apart. It is. For instance, it's in seven. Seven? Man, this dude killed seven people? Like I said, I knew this kid was gonna be a serial killer. A ring, for example? Or a book? Oh yeah, the, the book! Diary. If you could find them all, if you did destroy each Horcrux. One destroys Voldemort. So that's how Voldemort was able to come back. This dude never really died. At times, I still see the small boy from the cupboard. Yeah, me too, man. This is crazy. Forgive my mawkishness, Harry. Even though he's older than me. I'm an old man. Know. Should I tell you to hide, you hide. Should I tell you to run, you run. Should I tell you to abandon me and save yourself, you must do so. I won't let you down, sir. Okay, I will say so far, this has been probably the second best directed movie. And I will say that this is overall the best color graded movie out of the whole series. We about to get into some real shit now. There it is. The only question is how do we get there? Now I'm starting to feel a little bit the Dumbledore of old. See how powerful this dude and how wise he is. Oh, look like there's a dead body in the water. I mean, I really just like the artistic choices they've been doing here when it comes to the color grading. This stuff is crazy. I never would have expected something like this from a Harry Potter movie. I have been seeing some of the comments of a lot of people saying the books is a whole lot darker than this. And it's crazy that the books have been really dark like that. I thought it was like for kids when I was growing up. It has to be drunk. You remember the conditions on which I brought you with me? This potion might paralyze me. It caused me so much pain that I beg for relief. It's your job, Harry, to make sure I keep drinking this potion, even if you have to force it down my throat. Why can't I drink it, sir? Because I'm much older, much cleverer, and much less valuable. And he might be a little bit more resilient to certain poisons and potions and stuff. Professor! Oh, damn, it's got that type of pain already? Professor! That man, eyes have gotten like dark. Yo, this is an interesting take to see somebody like Dumbledore this vulnerable. Please. Please. Wow. This is a powerful scene right here. This is crazy, but it, it just makes him that much better of a character. Why did they go in the water? Lumos. Do not be no jump scare in this mother... It's quiet. It's too quiet. Oh my god! <laughs> Are you serious? Bro, what's with the... They, it's like they gotta put one jump scare in every Harry Potter movie now, man. Oh my goodness, that's what those bodies were? Those look like ghouls. Wow, look at that shot. That's crazy. That looked like something they should have put in a trailer or whatever. Oh 
Chain Dumbledore. Oh, oh, oh. oh shit! Hell yeah! Yo, that shit was cool as hell. Yo, that's some power right there. Oh my god. It's like they just knew that Dumbledore was about to be leaving and they was like, now's the time. Hide yourself below, Harry. Damn, it's like they sense Dumbledore or whatever. They coming up? You are no assassin. How do you know what I am? I've done things that would shock you. I was chosen. Just because you got a tattoo, you was chosen. You know how many people got that tattoo, bro? Please let me help you. I don't want your help. Don't you understand? I have to kill you. He's going to kill me. Well done, Draco. Do it. Let me finish it in my own way. No! Oh, damn, Severus, what the hell are you doing here? Go on, Draco. No! No. Are you triple crossing him? Severus, please. Have had a cadaver. <laughs> oh, shit! What the fuck? They really killed off Dumbledore, bro? Get the fuck out. She's destroying Hogwarts, man. She thinks this is just a fucking game, bro. Oh, please do not tell me you're about to go after Hagrid, man. Please tell me Hagrid is not in there. Fight back! No, he belongs to the Dark Lord. I really didn't think this series was gonna get this dark. You dare use my own spells against me, Potter? Yes, I'm the Half-Blood Prince. <laughs> what? What? I thought it was gonna be Voldemort. I guess that's like the obvious thing, so everybody was thinking that. This just freaking... Oh my God, thank you, Hagrid is still alive. I'm telling you, if, if, if Hagrid was in there, man, if he would have died, bro, I would have been freaking balling. Wow, they really killed off Dumbledore, man. And they killed him off in the most disrespectful way. This dude didn't go out like a G, like how a character like Dumbledore is supposed to go out. This dude was straight up assassinated. Like, what the hell is going on with Snape? Is, what is he, double crossing people? Is he triple crossing people? Like, what's up? Because he still kind of protected Harry. If you should have the need to talk to someone, you should know. Professor Dumbledore, you meant a great deal to him. Now his photo, he's asleep. Do you think he would have done it? Draco? No. Yeah, I don't think no, he was Malfoy would have did it. In the end, it was Snape. Yo, this it's movie like... got serious. I have stolen the real Horcrux and intend to destroy it as soon as I can. R.A.B. Dunno, but whoever they are, they have the real Horcrux means it was all a waste yeah you, you're right about that that boy dumbledore really went through all that pain for nothing wow we coming close to the end y'all feeling sad about it man this is one of the things that i love about movies is i watch movies like this and i get invested into the story into the characters to the point where i actually think that i'm in the movie and then when it's over it's like now i'm back in this reality that's one of the reasons why i wanted to become an actor so i could be a part of stuff like this Wow, that 
that was a nice ending. I think it was only right for Dumbledore's Phoenix to fly off. Yo, David Yates, man. Like I said earlier, the last one, I was kind of like, eh, it's... but this one right here, man, you killed it. Everybody did a fantastic job on this movie. I can see why a lot of people like this one. Every single time, I always say, okay, now this one is my favorite. Okay, now this one is my favorite. Now, I said number five was my favorite, but after when I was editing it and after like rethinking about it, I don't really like number five like that. And I'm not saying like I think it's a bad movie or whatever. I think it's like one of my least favorite throughout the whole franchise because I just, I really don't like the character of Umbridge. That's so, and I told you on the video, stuff like that annoys the hell out of me. And it was like, it's a lot of stuff in that movie that's kind of like, really? Why would you do that? Or whatever. The only thing that made that movie worth it for me, um, besides just the good acting and stuff like that, and being with the characters, and the story was somewhat good, or that in duel scene with Dumbledore and Voldemort, that was fire this movie here was on a whole nother level when it comes to just the drama just how dark it was the tension man this stuff really had me in tears man and like i told you I, I really get into these movies so when everybody was doing that memorial for dumbledore i really felt like i was there with him okay everybody and that was harry potter and the half blood prince this movie was tough, man. It was tough to get through. And it's not me saying it was a bad movie. No, this movie was fantastic. When it comes to just the directing, the editing, the cinematography, the color grading, I'll say that this was probably the best acting when it comes to just the whole cast. This was a heavy story. I And I just, I keep saying this, me growing up and hearing about Harry Potter, I never thought that <laughs> Harry Potter was gonna get this dark. They really killed off Dumbledore. A lot of people say that this is one one of the movies in the series that is kind of close to the source material we starting off like this with the heaviness I, I don't know what's gonna happen in the next two movies but they are definitely letting us know that the stakes are high they got some good villains in this series i like that we got a lot of dumb